Hey Crock Posse, today we are going to be making pork chop stuffing casserole in our oven. Oh, while having a whole lot of fun. Got your stuffing on top and your chop below. Hey Crock Posse, welcome back to my kitchen. Aunt Lou here and today we are going to make an oven recipe. <gasps> I know, there's no crock pot here. It seems so weird. But one of our most popular recipes right now is this pork chop stuffing casserole for your oven. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Um, you're going to need a pound and a half of pork chops. There were six in my pack and a nine by 13 pan, a bowl, a box of stuffing mix, a can of cream of mushroom soup, chicken broth, and that's it, oh, some aluminum foil. What we're gonna do is we're going to put our um, stuffy mix and our broth together and we're gonna set it aside. So how much broth you use depends on how dry or moist you want your stuffing. And so I'm going, like if you want it a little bit on the drier side, you can put in a cup and a half. If you want it on the I know a lot of people don't like the M word. Um, if you want it more like a wet stuffing, then um, you'll want to use two cups. Oh my. I need scissors. Try this again. I knew better than to try this without scissors. Okay, so we're just gonna pour, pour our bag of stuffing. It has the stuffing and the seasoning all in there. Then we're gonna take and add in our broth. So I'm gonna do about a cup and a half. If you want to do two cups, feel free. Just whatever you prefer. So we're gonna take this and I'm just going to take a fork and combine it real well so that none of the stuffing mix is dry and we're going to set that aside. Since I don't have a sink here to wash my hands in after touching raw meat, I've already put my pork chops in a lightly greased 9 by 13 pan. So now we're going to take our cream of mushroom soup and we're going to spoon that over top of our pork chops and it doesn't have to be perfect just spread it around as best you can and if you would rather crock this recipe don't worry we do have the crock pot um, recipe like version of this recipe on the website um, it was actually the first one I did and um, we just added the oven to give you guys more options but um, so you can find that Mikey put the link in the description down below please all right so I have a nice little coating on each of my pork chops and this has almost absorbed all of it we're gonna let that sit just a little bit longer um, so that it's all absorbed. Oh, while we're waiting, you also, the very first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So now we wait. All right, now my broth is all absorbed in the stuffing mix and we're just going to put that all over top of our pork chops. I'm just going to spread that out. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. Okay. So now we're going to take aluminum foil and we're going to cover it. on 350 
didn't want to be talking while I was making all that racket. Um, we're going to bake on 350 for 30 minutes and then we're going to uncover it and we're going to bake for an additional 10 minutes and then we'll be back in three, two, and we're back. So I cooked this on 350 for 30 minutes with the foil on, took the foil off and cooked it for another 10 minutes since I know my oven does not cook evenly. Um, I also took that chance to um, rotate it. And so let's give you guys a look. So this is what it looks like all together. Yummy stuffing. And so this is what it'll look like with a cup and a half of chicken broth instead of two cups. So again, you can choose according to your preference, okay? So let's take one out. He's so pretty. All right, so you can see the cream soup underneath the stuffing and then got your stuffing on top and your chop below and so um, I checked this um, whenever the full 40 minutes was up I checked it with a meat thermometer um, checked the center of all my pork chops because I knew about where they were place and all of them were um, about 145 degrees so we're good to go so let's give this a try I love this recipe This is really, really hot. Like I seriously just took it out of the oven. So give me just a second. Mm. Okay, I feel like I got some of that on my nose. So <laughs> excuse me while I wipe it off. Um, the flavoring from the stuffing just mixes perfectly with the pork chops. It gives you this really full flavor that's like slate, slate, sa, 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 sa. savory, if I could talk right. Um, gives you this full flavor that's savory and amazing and just, oh, it's awesome. So this is one of those like, comfort food at its best and also it's one in the oven that it's quick enough that you can do it on a weeknight so yay and my family loves this I hope you will too if you like this video give it a thumbs up down below if you're not already a member of our crock posse family join us hit the subscribe button down below and if you'd like to know every single time that we post a new video hit the button called the ding ling and no matter what you do laugh often eat good food and speak life. Bye! Are you kidding me? We're gonna do that in just a second because my kids are playing with loud toys. And today we are going to be making pork chop stuffing casserole. or crap. What's it called? Third time's a charm. I think you'll be very happy with You're on film. Oh. Hi Mikey, there's Michael. Hi Mikey. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the